Hi and welcome back. In this lesson, we will learn how to draw circles and semicircles on the canvas. To do this, we need to use a function called arc. This function has five arguments. The first two arguments are the values of x and y. These values are the coordinates of the center of a circle. The third argument is the letter r, which is the radius of the circle. The fourth argument is start angle, and the fifth argument is end angle. Every circle has 360 degrees, so on the right side we have 0 degrees. Then, if we move clockwise, we have 90 degrees, then 180 degrees, after that 270 degrees, and finally 360 degrees. So at the same point, we have 0 and 360 degrees. But to draw circles and semicircles on the canvas, we cannot use degrees. We need to use radians. No panic. It's not difficult to convert degrees to radians. To do this, we just need to use the number pi. The number pi is a mathematical constant. It is approximately equal to 3.14. So 90 degrees equals to about 0.5 pi. We just need to remember this. Since 90 degrees equals to 0.5 pi, then 180 degrees is the value of the number pi. 180 degrees is double of 90 degrees. That's why 180 degrees equals to the value of the number pi. Then 270 degrees equals to 1.5 pi. And 360 degrees equals to 2 pi. Now let's place the values on the circle. 0 degrees in radians equals to 0. 90 degrees equals to 0 0.5 pi. 180 degrees equals to the value of the number pi. 270 degrees equals to 1.5 pi and 360 degrees equals to 2 pi. If we want to draw a semicircle, then the value of start angle is 0 0.5 pi, and the value of end angle is 1.5 pi. To draw a circle, we need to use 0 as the value of start angle, and 2 pi as the value of end angle. So with the first three arguments, which are x, y, and the radius, everything is clear. To draw a circle, the value of start angle has to be 0. The value of end angle has to be 2 pi. That's why we need to use 2 multiplied by math.py. Math is the name of the JavaScript library in which the number pi is stored. OK, let's check how it works in practice. We type in ctx.arc. Then, let's specify 5 arguments. We set 500 pixels for x, 200 pixels for y, and 200 pixels for the radius. After that, we use 0 for start angle, and then to get the value of 2 pi, we add 2 multiplied by math.py. Save and refresh the page. And we don't see the circle. Why is that? Because we drew a virtual circle. To place this line on the canvas, we need to use a function called stroke. Well, Absolutely the same approach as we applied when we work with the lines and rectangles. So we add ctx.stroke. Great, the circle has appeared. Now let's delete the number 2 so that we only have math.py. And this time we've drawn the semicircle. Right here we have 0 radians, and here we have the value of the number pi. How can we fill this semicircle with some color? We just need to use the function called fill instead of the function called stroke. So we change stroke to fill. And now our semicircle is black. To change the color, we need to apply the property which we learned in the previous lesson. So we type in ctx.fillStyle. And let's set this color. We successfully changed the color of the semicircle to the color blue. Okay, that's all for this lesson. See you in the next one.